Hey there, Karen Haley here, your IBD health coach. I am jumping on to let you know about an amazing interview that I just had with Margie Holly. She is a craniosacral therapist, a massage therapist, and a Reiki therapist. And she's joining me on the podcast, the Cheeky Podcast for Moms with IBD, to tell us all about how craniosacral therapy can be a part of your IBD healing regime, your healing regime to bring your Crohn's and colitis into remission. Margie has such a wonderful energy and a wonderful spirit. I just think you guys are going to fall in love with her and the amazing work that she's doing. Whether you have never heard of craniosacral therapy or it's something that you've known about for years, I really think you're going to find value in this um, interview. So take a listen and in the comments, let me know what you think. You can get in touch with Margie at her website. It's in the show notes below this video. Something that, you know, there's a lot of different energy works. Like you talked about doing Reiki before, right? You talked about massage. Something that I think is really unique to Reiki is this whole idea of the body having the wisdom to heal, having the power to heal itself and craniosacral therapy tapping into that power. Mm -hmm. And I know for me, I spent, you know, I've had Crohn's for 35 plus 30, I think it's 35 years now. And for 20 of those years, I was giving my power away, right? I was listening to the doctors only. I was doing, I came from that Western medical background. I did everything that they told me to do. And I never got better. Not once, not ever surgeries, medications, right? Never got better. And it wasn't until I said, what am I doing here? I'm giving my power away and, and I'm not getting any better. Why, why am I doing that? It's time that I take that power back. And I find that really interesting about craniosacral therapy because I think it has so much to do with tapping into your own power that maybe you don't know that you have. Like, how do you experience that with craniosacral therapy? Do you know what I'm talking about? Exactly. Yeah. You know, we all have a healer within us and we were born with that innate ability. If you look at the way the body was designed, it, it heals itself. It's always bringing itself back into balance. You know, if you cut yourself, it heals. If you break a bone, it heals. And it's the same with your nervous system. It has the capacity to come back into balance and heal and diffuse what I like to call undigested life experience. Um, some people call it trauma. And, you know, trauma has many definitions. But, uh, you know, a surprise, a shock, an overwhelm to the nervous system, it can be anything. Um, that kind of sets up, sets you up for an imbalance. And if you're not given an opportunity to come back into balance, the body can't do what it's designed to do. But getting back to that, taking your power and, and connecting to your inner healer, it, it is, uh, I think, a, a pathology of our Western world where we have been trained from birth not to trust ourselves, not to be the authority. Like, well, we don't know anything. We're just, you know, listen to the doctor, listen to the teachers, listen to your parents. Not that you shouldn't listen to your parents, but you should listen to that inner wisdom and we all have it. We all have that inner wisdom and we weren't, you know, we were born with it, but we weren't, um, it wasn't cultivated in us. And as a matter of fact, it was kind of squelched in us. So the trick is really learning the habits that help you to hear your inner voice, your inner wisdom. And yes, consult the doctors, consult the experts. They are your consultants. They are not your, uh, taskmaster, right? They're, they're not going to be, they're not the ones there to tell you what to do. They're the ones who are sharing their wisdom and their understanding of the human system that you're dealing with. And then you take that information and you combine it with all your other research and then you combine it with your inner knowing and then you make your decision. That's taking your power back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so much of the time, I think especially as women, we're trained that we need to give our power away. And so, you know, and specifically for moms who are listening to the podcast, that's just so important that we feel the power that we already have, right? Because we have it. We just haven't tapped into it. And I love that uh, phrase that you said, this undigested life experience when you're talking about 
how people can feel trauma, whether it's emotional trauma or physical trauma and getting diagnosed with a chronic illness, that really is a, a trauma, right? It's a physical and an emotional trauma. And I really like how you worded that, that undigested life experience instead of say, there's something about the word trauma that makes me feel like victim. It's traumatic. Right. But what I like is this undigested life experience. Cause then I feel like, okay, it's just, there, there's something that I still need to do, but I don't have to be the victim. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And it's about, um, it's about being able to complete a process. Um, you know, there's so many, I mean, I was just listening to an early childhood, uh, a doctor who specializes in early childhood education and in how, you know, you get two year olds with the tantrums or, you know, teenagers with tantrums and it's because they haven't been allowed to complete their process, you know, uh, but if we, if we allow ourselves to complete a process, then it's finished and it's done and it's not taking up space in our, in our nervous system, in our brain, in our life. Yeah. And craniosacral therapy can help with you completing that process. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I also like what you said about how you see the doctor as the consultant, right? They're not the guru on high. They're not the person with all the wisdom. But when you're seeing your doctor, you're coming in as equals. I have this thought, you have this thought, and let's just kind of see what we can come up with. Um, one of the things I really feel like when I come in to see you for craniosacral therapy is we'll talk beforehand, right? Before the treatment, we talk, this is my experience. And you kind of draw out, right? Like, how is that affecting you? And, and, and what, do, what did you want your focus to be for today? I never feel like um, that I'm coming in and saying, you're my guru, solve my problem. It's like, we're in this um, place together. We're on this equal footing and let's figure out how to best help me together. So I just love having a mindset of that. Yeah. And you know, part of that, Karen, is that when you decide to take your power like that, there's an implied responsibility that, you know, it's so easy to give your power away because it's, it's, it's kind of intimidating to think, oh my gosh, I got myself here. How do I get out of it? I have no idea. Give me a pill, you know, cut me open. Do, you know, tell me to do this, you know, five times a day, whatever. Uh, no, it's, 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 it's about taking that personal responsibility to participate in your own life, be the star of your own life. And, and I, even when you just make that shift, I think something in your physiology can shift. Uh, yes. I, I experienced that myself when I made that shift and said, there's no savior here. There's nobody coming in <laughs> to just give me the way of the magic wand. Give me the pill. I have, I can do this. Right. So there's, it, there's a freedom in that, but also that, like you said, that responsibility. If you want to hear more from Margie, you want to hear the entire interview where Margie has lots more insights about craniosacral therapy and how it can help those of us with IBD, head on over to wherever you get your podcasts, the Cheeky Podcasts for Moms with IBD. You can hear more about Margie and her story, find out how you can connect with her over there. So check out the episode. I'm Karen Haley, your IBD health coach. And if you want to hear more videos like this, you have to like and subscribe to this channel. Chat soon.